Two here for the players to get warmed up before the start of the game. We've got a capacity crowd here at the Pepsi Center. The NBA playoffs continue. Just two teams remain. They are battling their way toward this title. Game two of the finals. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan. Onside, Steve Kerr and Clark Ellum. And now we take a brief check at the matches. Our starting five for both teams. Guys, what are we going to be looking for in this one from the machine? Well, he's one of those players who, who seems impervious to pressure. You know, they need a big basket, tight game. He's fearless, and that's why most of the time they're going to go to him for that basket. And something else I've noticed about him, Steve, is how much he stabilizes them defensively. He's their anchor at that end of the floor. Taking a look at them, they hold a one-game lead in the series, looking to take two straight before going on the road. There's definitely a little more pressure on the home team at the start of the series, guys. But if there were any jitters, I think they got them out of the way with that win in game one. Now all of a sudden you win another one, you go up 2-0, and you've got a great chance to win it all. Yeah, I mean, talking about pressure, winning this game would have them going on the road with very little of it on them. Games three and four won't be nearly as nerve-wracking if they get it done today. Who's back up? And it's Chicago with the rebound. Thursday's loss was a disappointment. You know, when things started to go wrong for them in that game, things did go very wrong. They just could never get it going back in the right direction. 
Steve, there was just no consistency. I mean, that was really the problem to me. Anytime they strung together a couple of baskets, they just couldn't keep the momentum going. So the Chicago Bulls able to put up the first points on the board. He feeds it to Chandler. Trains the three-pointer. Chandler's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Now the Bulls with it. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. Rose against Lawson. And it's Rose penetrating. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Chicago shooting their first free throws here tonight. Shaking his head, knowing he could have given him the lead. Robinson passes to Wolf. Down low, Lawson. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Rose with the ball. Now Lawson defending, and that one's good, Boozer. You can't give him that shot. I mean, a few open looks are all it takes, and he can really get rolling. Robinson passes to Wolf. Dish now to Hickson. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And he's got his first free throw of the game. KJ Hickson at the line for two. First one at the line is good. And Hickson drops them both. Rose with the ball. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. I briefly spoke with Tom Thibodeau. I asked him how he felt about his chances of taking game two on the road, and he told me, I still think we can. Our goal was to come in and take away at least one of these two games here, and we can still meet our goal. But this is the NBA Finals. Nothing comes easy. We'll see if they can meet their goal. Guys? All right, Doris, thanks. Here's the machine. Robinson for three. Help the bucket. Robinson's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. A good open look, and he splashes home the three. Gibson setting the pick for Rose. Boozer a screen on Lawson. Inside, here's Dang. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. tang has got his second bucket of the night. Four makes on four tries. Everything's falling early. 100% can't do better than that. Here's the machine, defended by Gibson. Pass to Hickson, out to Chandler. No good on the three. Bulls have gone 4-4 four four to start, so a nice offensive rhythm to start here. Goes off the bit from Gibson. Here's Boozer. An easy layup after coming off the pit. Boozer's got his second bucket of the game to go. And he came off that screen. The defense just couldn't get over the top. Beautiful play. Yep, and without a hand in his face, he's going to bury those. 
Dixon with the bucket. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. And here's Rose. Pulls up on the wing. And misses it off the right side of the rim. That's one he knows he should have made. Here's the machine. He's covered by Boozer. Outside Robinson. Rose with the block. Outside Butler. Rose against Lawson. Boozer a screen on Lawson. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Here's the machine. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Right wing. It's deflected. Butler with the steal. Here's Gibson. Rejected by Wolf. Now here is Robinson. To the middle. Here's Hickson. Makes it off the glass. Hickson's got six points. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. Yeah, but neither team really able to jump ahead. They're five times already the lead has changed. Now here's Rose. On the wing game. Latrey. Well, they recover it. Gibson. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. The lead changes hands once again. There has been no separation between these two teams tonight. What an intriguing basketball game, that's for sure. A shot's good from Lawson. Beautiful finger roll to cap head drive off. He knows how to finish with some flair and flavor, guy. Outside Rose. Knocks it loose. The kick outside to Butler. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Rose has got his third assist on the night. Denver's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Robinson kicks to Hickson. Wolf passes to Chandler. Here's the machine defended by Gibson. Back to Chandler. Three on the clock. Chandler's got five. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. No kidding for me. Neither team has been able to hold the lead for any length of time, guys. Yeah. Steve, so close. Well, such a seesaw affair back and forth. I mean, this has been an unbelievable game to watch. Muhammad, he's checked in for Chicago. Heinrich comes in for Taj Gibson. The Bulls have gotten seven of their first ten attempts to fall so far. Excellent pace to their offense. Doris Burke has some information for us. Doris. Hi, guys. Over that break, I was able to catch the message Brian Shaw was giving to his team. He told the machine that he wants the offense to run through him. The coach wants to get him involved early so he can establish a strong presence at that end of the floor and provide them with a well-balanced offensive attack. Guys, we'll just have to watch how it plays out here in the first half. Kevin, back to you. And as always, Doris, thank you. Now, here is Robinson following the miss by Derrick Rose. The Nuggets shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Nate Robinson at the line for two. No good on the free throw. Alinari, he's checked in for the Nuggets. And he's good on the second. Chicago trailing here. Rose up on top. Lawson defending. Rose attacking, and it's blocked by Wolf. And very quickly here in the first quarter, pronounced advantage for them on the glass. Yeah, that's a trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well. Wolves making a switch here. Then ladies checked in.
There's the feed to Butler. He dishes it to Dunley. Butler kicks to Dunleavy. Down low. And Butler gets it to go on the assist by Heinrich. And that's now six points for Butler. You know, that's been a big part of their offense in the early stages. I mean, their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range right at the rim. And I would continue to do it. You know, force the defense to maybe send a double team. Now you've got other options to work with offensively. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. Chandler against Heinrich. This is it to Dunley. Off line with his three. Nuggets have gone 6 of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. And Lawson, here we go, dishes it to Chandler. And it's blocked by Dunleavy. Now Heinrich. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Dang dishes to Muhammad. Lays it up and banks it in. And the Bulls lead by two. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They sure are. That's three straight buckets that have come off of assists. Here's Lawson. That's good. Very tough to get that shot off with the size differential up there. That's not an individual matchup he's going to win every time, especially in the post. Very well done. I didn't think he had any business operating down there with the big fellas. Here's Heinrich. Ty Lawson making his last shot. Here's the floater. Second chance effort, and there's the bucket on the layup from Muhammad. Boy, what a great job making good on the second opportunity. He stayed with that play from start to finish. Robinson against Buck. Fires from 18. Robinson, that's good. Robinson's got six. Chicago has gone 0-2 from the here. Heinrich outside. On the wing, Dang. And now here comes Robinson leading the break. That gives them the lead. Six points for Lawson. Well, his body control is what I noticed. I think that jumps off the page when you watch him play, even with a defender draped all over. He's able to find a way to get to the rim and get the shot to go in. And here's another thing about him, Steve. Every time he gets his hands on the ball in the backcourt, he's a one-man fast break. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Murphy's checked in, and it's Marcus Teague in for Butler. Here's Lawson. They lead by six, their biggest margin. And there's the pass to Wolf. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Whoa! The Bulls shooting 52% from the floor. Nice work so far from them. So for Chicago right now, on the wings, Butler and Dang. Gibson and Boozer in the middle. And it's Rose in at the point guard position. In low to Boozer. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Rose has got his fourth assist in this one. Denver leading by six. Watson outside. Pass to Wolf. And Gibson with the block. And that'll be Denver as it goes out of bounds. Nuggets retain possession. Let's take this chance now to show you the list of the postseason scoring leaders. Look at the machine. Second in the league having an excellent season. And what a run he's been on, guys. Establishing himself at the perfect time here in the postseason. Here's the machine. No good. Solid defense right there from Gibson. He's just been ice cold. I mean, he cannot find the range. Lawson's against Rose. Down to five on the shot clock. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. And Gibson kicks to Dang. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Thank <laughs> you. 
And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Watson the pass to four. He kicks to Hickson. Shot, no good. Excellent defense there from Boozer. Bulls trail by six. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They've got to find something you're right. Here's Butler. A.J. Hitchin grabs the rebound. Hickson's got four rebounds in this game. And Lawson, here we go. Kicks it to Hickson. Nice D from Dang. Terrific defense at the rim. They got right in his path. You know, that's part of what great defenders do. They get not only in your path, but in your head a little bit, too. And it's sent back by Wolf. Hickson sets the screen for Chandler. Outside for Lawson. Tries to save it. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. Bulls trail by six. Outside Rose. Throws off the pick from Boozer. Rose dishes to Gibson. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take. I tell you what, that's just a major unforced error right there, guys. My goodness. The Bulls have gone two of six in the field in the second quarter so far. Rose against Watson. Boozer inside. Feeds it to Gibson. Drops in the layup for two. Gibson's got his second basket of the night. Boy, they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing that ball into the paint. Smash mouth basketball. <laughs> yeah, and it's a strategy that has served them well in this opening half, Clark. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Well, guys, Tom Thibodeau had some advice for his team in that last timeout. He said to his guys, let's get serious about driving the lane and putting pressure on their interior defenders. That's where he sees the soft spot in this defense. He also talked about their perimeter defense. He does not want to see anyone getting easy outside opportunities. He wants their defense to blanket those outside shooters. Guys, they're clearly hoping those changes have an effect even before this game makes it to halftime. Kevin? Thanks a lot, Doris. Well, he had that height separation there on the mid-range jump shot. Really good job of taking advantage of that. Lawson kicks to Hickson. The shot's good from Wolf. The machine's got four points this quarter. Heads up play there, guys, on the assist and the finish. Outside Rose. He feeds it to Dang. Outside Rose. Back to Dang. Down to five on the shot clock. No good. He's far too tentative in the paint. And even more so when the defender is up tight on him like that time. To the inside. Wolf. And it's blocked by Dang. And so it looks like Denver will retain possession here. Darrell Arthur, who's checked in for J.J. Hickson. Out to Chandler. The dish to Lawson. Just five on the clock. Releases. And he gets the jumper to drop. Lawson's got the lead up to eight now for Denver. Uh, you got to like his shot selection today. He set a good example for the rest of his teammates. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Oh, 
Rodgers with the ball. Outside Butler. Back to Rose. Rose off the pick from Boozer. Just five on the clock. Rose passes to Boozer. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. It's been a great game for Boozer tonight. He's got eight points and he's getting it done on the glass too. Now you're right Clark. He's done some really nice work inside. And some stats here guys. The scoring breakdown for the Nuggets. Well they've definitely had the hot hand from the three point line so far. Always nice to start out like that. Something else they've done a good job of tonight. You know right from the start is penetrating and scoring. He misses the free throw. And he can't hit the second. The Nuggets leading by eight. Lawson outside. Shot, high post, and the shot is good. Lawson's got 12. And fellas, in this quarter, he's improved on what was already a very good performance in period number one. Outside Rose. Right side Rose. Knocked away. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. We've seen a lot of silly plays like that out of them today. Just way too many. Here's Lawson. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Mark some serious agility coming out of the backcourt. You know, that bucket might count for a little more than two points when he <laughs> finishes it with that kind of flourish. Yeah, against a D that was already reeling a little bit. That was like a body blow. Good on that shot. And with that, the Nugget lead is cut down to 10 on the bucket from Gibson. He got a great read of where that miss was going, and that allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the putback. Now, here is Watson. 14 points for him. That one goes. Count it. Lawson. Lawson's got 16. And now we can see them really working it inside. Taking advantage of the defense, really pounding it down low. Here's Rose. The kick out to Dang. Rose against Lawson. And it's Rose penetrating. Outside Butler. Four on the shot clock. Offline from the top of the key. He doesn't really scare a defense at all. You've seen him miss quite a few just like those. And there's a foul. It goes on Jimmy Butler. That's foul number two for him. Boy, with two fouls now, he really has to be disciplined and under control for the rest of this half. Muhammad, he's checked in for Chicago. Here's the machine. Pass to Chandler. The shot is off. Excellent defense there from Heinrich. Bulls trail by 12. Heinrich off a pick from Murphy. Heinrich against Watson. Heinrich dishes to Dunley. Four on the shot clock. Shot is off, and it's Denver the other way. There's the feed to Robinson. Drills the three-pointer. Robinson's got nine points. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. Here's Butler. And again, Chicago. No good. The Nuggets leading by 15. Another shot, and the bucket is good. Will. Coming on the way up that time Whoa. from Wolf. The machine's got six points in the quarter. Well, something special about him, guys, is just how good he is at winning the so-called second shot game, going hard to the offensive glass, salvaging points with his putbacks. And Steve, very few players have his finishing ability. We see him get a lot of and ones because even if he draws hard contact, 
he is able to play through that and typically score. And another gap in the defense found right there. This is one of the worst defensive performances I have ever seen. Bulls trail by 19. Heinrich with it. Now Lawson defending. Heinrich kicks to Muhammad. Lawson against Heinrich. He dishes it to Butler. They need this one. It's blocked. There's a minute left to play in the first half. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. That one on Dunley. Well, how about Ty Lawson in this one? He's got 16 points and also a couple of rebounds. The Nuggets shooting their fifth and six free throws of the game. Two shots. good from Lawson. Another shot from outside. They're not attacking. I mean, going in and seeking contact like they did in the first one, I'm not seeing that. Well, you can't play the score. I mean, you've got to play the game, and I think they've got to continue to attack. You're right, Clark. Got to mix it up a little bit. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. The Nuggets on top, delivering the blowout. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke, standing by on the sideline. Doris? Hey, Kevin. Well, I'm here with Coach Tom Thibodeau. And Coach, what allowed them to get off to such a good start offensively against you? Well, they, they hurt us in transition to start the game. They got some easy baskets. Uh, now they're playing with a lot of confidence offensively. Tom, thank you. Kevin, back to you. All right, Doris, thank you. And folks, make sure to stay tuned in for halftime, and we'll be back right after that. And now, brought to you by Sprint. The story of the NBA Finals is shaping up here in Game 2. It's time to break down the first half of action on 2K Sports. For Denver, they have the lead against Chicago. They're making a big statement in this one, looking to tack on another win and take a finals lead two games to none. A tremendous first half for Ty Lawson. His shooting percentage off the charts right now. He's got the magic touch from the field, no question about it. Now for the Bulls, they're not looking nearly as crisp. Missed free throws all too common thus far. You have to be able to punish a team for fouling you. A valuable contribution so far by Carlos Boozer. He's got eight points, and look at the work he's been putting on the floor. In terms of field goal percentage, he is taking quality shot after quality shot. And that's all there is for me here in the studio. Time to send you back to my friend Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. It's the NBA playoffs. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action here in this game two. What a game we're seeing from Ty Lawson. Everything's magnified in a game like this. And with the microscope squarely on him as their go-to guy, he came through in a huge way in the first half. Steve, that's what he's known for. I mean, his ability to raise his game according to the situation makes him elite level. And Chicago has possession. Bull in at the four spot. Robinson is out there with Lawson. Then it's Wilson Chandler. And it's Hickson in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's who Brian Shaw starts the second half with. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Hi, guys. The machine in their last game against the Bulls was simply terrific. He ended up with 35 points and came out of nowhere defensively, swatting away one shot after another. Numbers like that are rare to see by any player in a game he'll always remember. All right, Doris, thank you. We played at a level that very few players are capable of playing, Clark. Yeah, I agree. I was just glad I got a chance to witness it. It's always such a special night when a player of his caliber gets so locked in and focused. And you know, in an 82-game season with so much talent, every once in a while, everything's going to click. And that was definitely the case that night. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Into the Bulls, uh, you know, shooting 40% from the field. 
Rose kicks to Dang. And Chandler sends it back. And pushing it up, here's Denver. And Lawson gets it to go on the assist from Robinson. 19 points for Ty Lawson. Boy, this defense is getting eaten up on the inside, guys, giving up far too many free runs to the rim. And they haven't been able to return the favor. I mean, their offense in the paint has not been up to par. Now here's Boozer. He's got eight. Here's Gibson. And good work on the boards. They pick up a second chance points. Gibson's got eight points. And they get one to go now after missing their first three shots. Maybe this will kick them into gear. Lost in the pass to Wolf. Dixon a screen on Gibson. Back to Lawson from downtown. And again, Denver with the triple. Perfect on their first three shots now. That's the way to start the second half. The Bulls have gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room at the break. And it's Rose penetrating. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. And while we have a chance, let's now take a look at the NBA's season assist leaders. Number five is Ty Lawson. Seems like he's taken it upon his shoulders to get every one of his teammates involved here in the postseason. What a passing display it's been. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Pass to Dan. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. It's his first trip to the line. First one falls for him. Dang, it's them both. And here's Lawson. He's got 19. Lawson gets the screen from Wolf. Chandler right side. And again, Denver with the triple. This defense is giving their shooters free reign to operate from behind the arc. That's right. I think it's time for them to start closing down. You've got to run shooters off that three-point line. Now here's Gibson. Eight points for him. Here's Wolf. Oh, what a play! Oh, look at that. That is a bring him ball. down the house. Boy, extremely opportunistic defense leading to those points there. That dunk Clark coming within seconds of the steal. Love the way they convert from defense to offense. But, but that's what happens when you get all five guys on a string defensively ready to react and make a play. And that last replay courtesy of Kia. Lawson's against Rose, and stolen by Lawson. And here we go with Lawson, running it right up the court. Here's Robinson, and it's blocked by Dang. Oh, and here comes Rose, all alone. Amazing hops, exploding to the bucket. Kevin, you don't expect to see that coming from the point guard position. No oh, way. Boy, can he elevate at that size. That's impressive. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, guys. Over that break, I was able to catch the message Tom Thibodeau was giving to his team. He said they simply have to stop allowing points in the paint. They've given up far too many easy shots for his liking. Clearly, some adjustments there had to be made because the time left for a comeback is quickly running out. Kevin, over to you. All right, Doris. On the wing, Dang. Rose against Lawson. The kick outside to Butler. Six on the shot clock. Here's Boozer. Oh, yes, the turnaround. Boozer's got 10 points. Well, and the bounce pass was the key to the play. Denver's gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Lawson kicks to Chandler. There's the pass to Wolf. Dishes it to Hickson. Chandler, the pass to Wolf. He kicks to Hickson. There's the bucket. Good. 
game. He's got eight. Superb assist there. He played the role of the maestro on that one. The Bulls have gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Rose against Lawson. Rose goes in, rejected by Wolf, and he's able to get it back. And they get it back. Denver's gotten off 12 shots from beyond the arc tonight, hitting seven of them. Lawson dishes to Robinson. Back to Lawson. To the middle. Pass to Hickson. Down to five on the shot clock. A floater. Second chance shot, and it's good on the way in. Whoa! 13 points for the machine. Seems like they're on their heels every time defensively because the ball continues to go into the post. Well, if they don't pick up the aggression, things are only going to get worse. Who's it? The rebound by Wolf. You just assume he's going to knock those down when he's as open as he was there. And he lobs it up, trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Ball going up court. Here's Rose. Dang kicks to Boozer. Rejected by Wolf. Robinson down low. Defended by Butler. Here's the machine. He's got 13. Kicks it to Hickson, and it's going to be a three second call. And the Bulls making a change here. Murphy's checked in. And Chicago shooting has been wayward so far. Only 37% from the floor. Looking to get back on track here. Blocked. This touch has disappeared on him this quarter. He just hasn't been able to get it going. Passes to Wolf. Chandler with the screen on Murphy. Shot clock at six. Well, Nuggets need to get a shot off here. Robinson, that's good. Boy, they've come out of halftime just smoking hot from behind the arc. Hey, trust me on this one, partner. They are going to continue to let him fly. Inside, here's Murphy, and he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Boy, just a little too lax with the effort defensively on that possession. Well, I'd say that pretty much sums it up. You're right, Clark. Yeah, but what a finish, guys. I mean, look at him taking it up high. The Nuggets have gotten eight of their 11 shots to drop since the break. A great third quarter for them offensively. Miller, the pass to Wolf. Back to Miller. Let's it go with a three. Rebound by the Bulls. Boozer's got four rebounds now tonight. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. The, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. Now here's Rose. Five points in the game. Knocked loose. They're running, pushing it up. The fast break ends at the rim with a jam. Boy, great job of attacking on the break. Yeah, it sure was. He made a beeline for the bucket as soon as they got the ball. Right away, straight to the rim. Right side, Boozer. Six to shoot. The kick outside to Butler. High post try. It's rebounded by Wolf. The machine's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. On the wing, Chandler. Three pointer. That is good. Chandler's got nine points now in just the second half. He's found the rhythm here in the third quarter, Kevin. And his confidence is palpable. You can feel it. Everything he puts up from long range seems to be falling. Now here's Rose. Feeds to Boozer. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. That's 12 points for Carlos Boozer. Well, he certainly isn't the one to blame for them being in the hole. He's been on the money with his game. Robinson up top, defended by Butler. Miller, the pass to Wolf. Yeah. 
And you know, these calls can be some of the toughest in the game for the officials. It all happened so fast, but I really think that was the right call. The defender was not really set in that situation. Muhammad, he's checked in for the Bulls. Then Levy comes in for Lou Aldang. Fourth quarter of basketball, we're about a minute into it. Left side, Rose. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Rose has got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for Chicago. So for Chicago right now, Heinrich and Rose, the guards, dang out there with Jimmy Butler. And it's Boozer in its center. Here's the machine and the foul on Derrick Rose. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Shot clock at six. To the inside, here's Wolf, and he drops in the layup off the glass. And his confidence has come back since halftime after really a rough first two quarters. For Chicago, they've gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. It's Boozer missing. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior, no question. And that's, uh, I think, the main reason they have this lead. Chicago grabs the miss. Now here's Rhodes. Left side, Boozer. Back to Rose. Just a little under two and a half minutes of pass now here in the fourth. And he gets it to go. And you got to put bodies on the glass right there. They, they just are not getting it done on the boards. Yeah, they've got to do a much better job of going harder than that to the glass. Obvious foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned those free throws. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for the Nuggets. Well, I got to say one thing that stuck out all game is the consistent penetration they've gotten. And how about the touch they've displayed from long range, guys? I mean, as a team, they are really shooting the ball well and executing from the perimeter. That free throw, no good. Bulls making a switch here. the second free throw good for those just joining us fourth quarter here we're just over two and a half minutes into it Heinrich with it now defended by Foy outside Butler left side Butler rejected by Wolf more often than not today those shots have not dropped for him Foy with it he's picked up by Dan Now Arthur. Foy with it. Drains it from beyond the arc. Talk about doing a Rip Van Winkle on defense. Come on, guys, wake up. Why are they leaving him open at the three-point line? Come on. Now here's Heinrich. Dang. And a great assist by Heinrich as that one goes in. And that's 11 points for Luol Dang. 
And guys, Deng has developed into a very good shooter, especially off spot ups or maybe one dribble pull ups. He's got range, he's developed that out to the three point line, uh, but he really likes to go to that mid range area. One or two dribbles into the paint, he'll rise up, shoot right over the top. But you know what I like about him most, Steve? Dang is a very well balanced player. He does a lot of good things offensively, but he's just as good at the defensive end. He's a big key to his team's tough defense. And also, Steve, I think he's the definition of a lockdown defender. It doesn't matter what style of player he's up against, he can handle just about anything that's thrown at him. Nuggets have gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Wolf passes to Mazda, and he gets it to go. They've done a lot of good work with the ball, really moving both the, the ball and moving bodies, getting quality chances at the hoop. And they're not wasting chances when they get them. I mean, they're hitting their shots. Now here's Heinrich. Butler with the ball, now defended by four. No good off the front iron. And little to no chance of that shot going in. Yeah, that was a tough one right there. Arthur kicks to Fournier. Out left to the wing. Six on the shot clock. Here's the machine covered by Mom. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. Chicago's gotten fewer than half of their three pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Heinrich kicks to Dang. They get a hand on it. Ball stolen. And he's got a five by five. Boy, extremely opportunistic defense leading to those points there. That dunk Clark coming within seconds of the steal. I love the way they convert from defense to offense. But, but that's what happens when you get all five guys on a string defensively ready to react and make a play. Now here's Heinrich covered by Foy. A look from Dang. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. So far in the game for Dang, he has 11 points, and his two blocks have given them a lift defensively. Well, you have to protect the rim, Clark. You know that. And when you do that as well as he has today, it really bodes well for your team. That's good from Dang. So he gets them both. And here's Foy. He feeds it to Fournier. Over to the wing. Here's Arthur. The dish to four. Shot clock at five. Here's Wolf, and it's blocked by Muhammad. Heinrich outside. And the basket by Mohammed. That lead pass allowed him to get straight to the hoop without losing any momentum. For Denver, they've gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Here's Heinrich, and it's blocked by Wolf. To the inside. Unbelievable Whoa. performance. He's got Whoa. a quadruple double. Some defensive breakdowns are starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. Uh, giving up these easy chances is going to do wonders for their confidence. Chicago has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. On the wing, Dang. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. I tell you what, that's just a major unforced error right there, guys. My goodness. So for the Bulls, Murphy's checked in, and it's Teagan for Kirk Heinrich. For Denver, they've gone six of nine on their field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter. Foy off a pick from Wolf. And Foy kicks to Fournier. 
The feed to Arthur. And again, it's Denver. And great ball movement. They're just picking this defense apart with their passing. Well, how about the three Ps, Steve? Purposeful, precise, passing. We love it, and so does this team because they're taking advantage of it. Here's Butler after the made shot from Arthur. Outside Butler. Lock at six. Sinks the three-pointer. The defense sagged off, and, you know, he did not hesitate to rise up and bury that three. The Nuggets have gone 7 of 10 shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. Here's the machine. He's guarded by Murphy. To the middle. And again, it goes in for him. Good shot from Arthur. That makes it 10 of their last 12 points coming from inside the painted area. Yep, that's something that the defense has to put a stop to. Maybe a defensive adjustment is necessary here. Now here's Teague. It's Murphy outside. The shot, no good. Such a solid performance for them inside. The rebounding has been terrific. Yeah, that's just one of the few things that, that have gone their way today. Now here's Arthur. Defense right on him. Denver gets it back. Goes up again. And it's good on the way up. They're forcing the ball inside. And it's working beautifully. Yeah, the defense has been futile here. Five of the last six field goals in the lane. Now here's Teague. Wide open. And that one's good. Boy, they have been terrific from beyond the arc here in the second half. You look at the percentages, good numbers. Just what the pharmacist prescribed. Those three-point bombs will erase the deficit quickly if they keep it up. Here's the machine. Arthur kicks to Fournier. Teague on the double team. Over to the wing. Here's Wolf. And again, it's Denver. How about the passing Whoa. there? Moving the ball without any thought, without any agenda. It's hard to overstate all the points they've scored on assist today. Beautiful to watch. Now here's Teague trying his luck deep. The rebound by Wolf. The machine's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Murphy with the steal. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. The, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. And he recovers it. Good. Now, here is Foy. And the pass to Wolf. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. The Machines has got 10 points in the quarter. Well, Chicago has gotten three of their six three-pointers to fall here in the fourth. Outside Teague. Snell. Misses off the left iron. It's been a great day for them on the board, Spark. It's definitely been a major factor in building this big lead. And, you know, from a number standpoint, the advantage might not be that large, but they have been manhandling them inside. Now here's Arthur. Here's Fournier, pass to Wolf, and stolen by Butler. And that'll effectively take care of game two here in the NBA Finals. We'll be switching venues for the next one. But right now, an important win for Denver. Two great rebounding teams, Clark. Yeah, and these guys just worked a little bit harder tonight. That was the edge that was needed. And what a huge standout performance it was for the machine. What more, really, can you ask of a guy? I mean, when he comes out and gets a triple-double, making contributions all over the place tonight. Here's the machine after the made shot from Butler. Just five on the clock. So it's Denver now. Moscow dishes to four. And it's off from three-point range. Chicago has gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. Butler kicks to T. Pass to Muhammad. It's stolen by Foy. He dishes it to Arthur. To the wing on the left. Here's Wolf. 
The Nuggets with another miss. The Bulls shooting about 43% here in the fourth quarter. Fires the three. Out of bounds, Denver takes possession. And here's Miller. So it's the Nuggets winning this one easily. They put on a show tonight thoroughly controlling each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you ask? And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline, of course. Well, Nate, this team has shown in a game like tonight that everyone is contributing in their own individual way. How are you able to achieve the depth and versatility out here on the court? Uh, I mean, for us, each guy in this team does all the little things. You know, we don't have just one guy that can do this and do that. We have a bunch of guys that love to get dirty and love to play hard and play aggressive and play defense. And, uh, you know, we're doing that. The ball's finding the hot guy, and we're all just sharing the ball and having fun. It's fun for us to watch, Nate. Thanks for the time. Guys? Thanks, Doris. That concludes Game 2 of the NBA Finals. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke and our entire 2K sports team, this is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Right now, let's take a look at the Jordan player of the game. All right, you took care of business at home. Now you hit the road for the next three. What's the mindset going into the second phase of this series? You said it exactly. We took care of business. And that's what we need to do on their court. All the pressure's on them right now knowing that they're in an 0-2 hole. So we can't let up. Just keep playing like we did tonight and in game one. And we've got a great chance to be world champions. Not many teams ever get to say that. So this is an opportunity we can't take for granted. Ready, man? <laughs> this dude is so funny, yo. <laughs> uh, what? Ready for what? It's decision time. Decision time, finally. I don't care, man. Thai, pizza, Italian, whatever you want. Oh, no, man, decision. it's time to choose between the big dog, <laughs> Nike, and Jordan. What? Yeah, man, it's time to choose. <sighs> Dude, I've been waiting for this day for a long time. I know, man, I know. And the thing is, is that they both feel like you're ready to be one of the athletes, all right? They, I mean, they pushing me hard, man. They, they want you to decide. Yo, it's not exactly an easy decision. No, I know, I know. That's why I'm I'm gonna walk you through it, man. I'm gonna right. walk you through it, all right? So pay attention, listen real close, all right? And you decide what's best for you in your career. All right, so lay it on me. Start with Nike, what's up? All right, Nike, Nike, okay. Uh, first thing is that Nike, they're going to uh, give you decent money straight out the gate, nice. okay? And you're gonna get instant fans, man. I mean, just from being associated with the brand, mm -hmm. right? And, uh, oh, they got promotional stuff for you, and you get access to all their shoes anytime you want. All right, you know yeah. I can dig that, bro. Yeah. That's cool. So what's up with Jordan, then? Well, Jordan's going to give you the most money, all right? So if it's just about the cash, then you definitely want to give them strong consideration, all right? And again, they got the promotional for you, and you get access to all their shoes. Oh, and uh, you know being a Jordan athlete, I mean, that's a pretty exclusive club, you know what I mean? So you definitely want to think about that, too. Bro, honestly, I like it. I like what I'm hearing on both sides, man. So what's up? I'm just supposed to make a decision? Jeez. Yeah, yeah. I mean, pretty much, pretty much. And, and remember, when you become a bigger star, man, you're going to get your own signature shoe. Ooh. Regardless of who you choose. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. You know I can't wait for that. All right, man, let me think about this a minute. It's a tough decision. Yo, Jordan, for sure. I mean, the payout sounds nice, and I just love the idea of being a Jordan brand athlete. That's a great choice, man. I'll get the paperwork started. All right. Hey, from here on out, consider yourself a Jordan athlete. Nice. Now down to business. I'm 
I'm hungry. Yeah, I feel you. We want to eat. Yo, you know how many decisions I have to make, man? <laughs> hey, man, look. Let's just go to an Italian spot. I know a place. Let's do it. All right, let's go.